Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing something a little bit different, a junior edition of our ride videos. As illustrated in the video above, today we have with us James, my 14 year old son, and joining him will be Oscar, a 9 year old from Saskatoon. Now Oscar is not just some random 9 year old. We did not pick him up on the street on the way to Ghost. Uh, he is the son of Other Devon. He is known as Other Devon because we already had a Devon and it seemed redundant to have two. If you'll just indulge the first couple minutes of this video, it's well worth your time to stick around. Uh, it's always fun watching the next generation of riders to test their mettle as they head to the, the more complicated terrain. Uh, both of these kids grew up riding in the sand and uh, all of these rocks, all these hillsides, is something that uh, they both did exceptionally well on given that they really have no experience in it. For posterity and for informational purposes, we are at the Ghost Public Land Use Zone and camping at Fallen Timber South. James is riding my old 2009 250X, and Oscar is riding a, I believe, 2017 YZ65, doing things that they probably never intended for the YZ65 to be doing. Firstly, as we see Oscar go through some uh, pretty bouncy terrain, again, it's always hard to see the just how bumpy it is, but you can watch his little bike get kicked around quite a lot. Um, but the bigger men's sized tires, we can roll over a lot of stuff that he has to kind of fight through. He's only been using a clutch for a very short while now, and while he's uh, an exceptionally good rider for his age, as you can see, his, his balancing and position on the bike is spot on. Um, the bike itself is not very well suited to this terrain. The clutch is an on-off switch. It's meant for dumping. It's not meant for feathering. So he did very well in, in this type of rain. Really, through the weekend, we only had one hill climb where he really got hung up into a place where we had to move the bike and that's probably more a result of me choosing a bad hill where the the rocks were just too big for his tires to roll over one thing that struck me through the weekend not just with oscar but also with my son james is both of them demonstrating a willingness to try anything that we put before them um, both of them really refused to take help unless it was absolutely necessary and both of them really wanted to challenge anything that we put in front of them it's uh so important to have that commitment, uh, that attitude from the young riders. Uh, it can be a difficult sport to learn at times when you you start to develop a little bit of fear. Um, but neither of these kids demonstrated that. They both uh, challenged a lot of stuff that was probably over their head at the beginning of the weekend, but both of them learned so incredibly fast, mostly through their willingness to challenge these things. With having moved to Alberta just a couple of years ago, um, We've worked hard to redevelop our riding network for new people that we've met. Uh, obviously, we can no longer ride with our friends from Saskatoon practically, but it's it's nice to reconnect with some of them uh, when they come out to the mountains. It's a lot of fun to, to try things that we just never learned on. I've always found it interesting with the kids uh, in teaching them. I've taught uh, my two youngest children how to ride. I never got the opportunity to teach our older one, although she's learned how to ride uh, street bikes as an adult. But with the kids, uh, they learn so quickly. Uh, some of it's probably just that they can physically adapt much faster than we do as adults and some of it I think is that they don't feel the fear that we do as adults. They seem to, as my kids put it, they, they had trust that I would never put them in over their heads. Um, I think now they're learning that that is incorrect. I tend to always put them in over their heads. Um, I like to see them challenged. I don't like to see them hurt, but um, we've always made it a joke uh, to, to test ourselves and not to be afraid to, to fail at and not to be afraid to crash. Interestingly enough, uh, I've often discussed with my kids and my wife and uh, also some people outside of the riding community just how important it is to develop the skills that you get from some of these more dangerous and higher impact sports. My two younger kids, as funny as it sounds, are really good at falling. It is a developed skill, it's not something you have innately, and you can tell when kids have played contact sports and when they haven't, and when they've had impacts and when they haven't. I've always been very careful that my kids are geared up to the maximum. I buy good, not necessarily the most expensive, but I always buy good gear. And uh, it's always kept them safe, uh, but they've learned how to crash with, you know, 100 pounds or 200 pounds or 250 pounds, as James has now, wrapped around them. And, they, from riding for years, this is James' eighth year, um, they've learned how to go down and extricate themselves from having the bike land on them. Uh, it's not entirely preventable, but um, experience teaches you a lot. It, um, it teaches you how to protect yourself, uh, how to fall properly, how to brace for impacts, and how not to panic uh, when 
when scary moments arise, you can really see it, um, particularly after the first couple of years. But it's neat to see it uh, develop in a young mind. I think it builds so much for confidence, uh, not just in your physical abilities, but also in your mental capabilities. The, the ability to think clearly when things are going sideways is really a value, not just in riding, but in life in general. With most of the trails we found ourselves on this weekend, they were new to us. Um, thankfully, on Saturday, we met a gentleman who had been stranded by his group by the name of Chad or Brad. Now, I, I'm bad with names to start with, um, and I misused or miscalled him a name at some point in the weekend, and now I have no idea whether it's Chad or Brad, but I'm pretty sure it's Brad. So i got to thank him for showing us so many of these trails. Um, the funny little clip coming up here in a second. We've all found ourselves there right. digging into a root. Um, but as always, uh, as we talked about earlier in the video, um, Oscar does not stay on the ground for long. Um, he did not need help up at any point this weekend. He fought his way through everything, so full marks to that. Getting stuck on this hill here is also a great demonstration. As you can see how steep the hill is, it, you can't really tell going into it, but uh, with me just sitting there on the bike, you can see exactly how steep that hill is. And he was able to get himself going, um, not only get himself going, but hold the bike in place while he was starting up from that. And that's pretty impressive to be able to generate the traction needed to get up from there. Um, many of the adults we ride in or ride with, um, they'll just sit there and dig a trench. And there is no traction in trenching. Uh, all you do is build yourself a bigger problem. Um, riding in hillsides and in low traction, you've really got to learn to drive with your clutch and not with your gas. Um, one of the more important mountain skills to learn, or really just general skills, but it's particularly important when you're crawling along. This next video here is just a little funny clip of side hilling. You can't really see the angle that you're on, but the, the shelf itself wasn't very big, and James gets himself into trouble with that rear end sliding out. Now, um, we have communicators between our helmets, so I'm able to talk to him uh, in real time, and uh, if you could hear the audio from that, you'd hear me... Uh, making fun of him as he's slowly sliding off and eventually has to commit to going down to the bottom and coming back up but you really have to be careful with those along the roads they put rocks at the bottom of the ditch which i'm assuming is for erosion control but uh they hide really well on the rocks i had a friend a couple years ago that went into them and she broke her collarbone pretty bad um you uh don't want to find those in the grass um, those surprise those surprise crashes are the ones that really hurt not the ones you can prep for it's hard to see a lot of what I was evaluating in James' riding over the weekend, but the, we weren't on, here only just for uh, fun. I'm also evaluating him to see as he's kind of hitting that age where he's mostly fully grown, if a little bit skinny, um, and uh, his riding skills getting to the level where he, he's going to be ready to be joining us as an adult group. In fact, um, in, a, in another couple weeks, he'll be joining us on a, an adult ride back into the same area where we challenge some tougher terrain. But uh, he impressed me in, um, in his riding here. He, he really, despite being on the lighter side for a, a full-side man bike, he is the same height that I am and actually has longer legs. So he, he struggles with the height a little bit less than I do. But he is a full 80 pounds lighter than I am. And he wrestled that bike around as best he could. I really I helped him once this weekend, but he didn't really need my help. I just happened to be in the area. And... Um, his riding has really advanced a lot, particularly in the last year. He's starting to get a lot of fine controls, and he's challenging pretty much everything we put in front of him. Um, it's a real positive attitude shift with the riding. Not that he's ever really had a bad attitude, but um, you can see that uh, he, he wants to learn, and that's uh, fun to have along. And he'll fit right in with the men's group when he joins us, although I think it'll be a challenging weekend for him, uh, but uh, he'll be up for the challenge. Both my kids started riding before they were six years old, and each stage of riding, you, you get to appreciate different little things that they learn, all the little skills that click with them, and just uh, the amount of fun they have with it. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it's pretty cool that as a kid, you get to control that machinery. Um, where James is right now is he's transitioning into riding more like the men. Uh, it's neat to see all the little nuanced skills that he's picking up. Um, his riding is pretty similar to mine. I mean, ultimately, I taught him a lot of what he knows, but he's also starting to pick up skills on his own, and that's really interesting to watch as his riding style is starting to be a little bit more different than mine. Not in any fundamental ways, just the little things that he's picking up on his own. I don't have much left that I can teach him specifically for skills. I'm not an A-class rider. Um, and uh, But my skills are 
adequate enough to, to get through what I need to, but he's started to figure it out on his own, and that's really fun to watch. Well, i got to thank everybody for coming along for this video. I know it's different, hopefully something that you enjoyed. Uh, we should have one more video coming up. I'm headed out in a couple of weeks for one last ride to the season. It's getting cold already, and as uh, much as I don't want winter to be here, it does feel like it's coming. So, till next time.